Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nathan here and today I have come with a very challenging problem. And uh, whenever I give this problem uh, for the first time to my students, they have struggled in this. So let's see, it's a tricky flux. So here is the problem statement. Uh, electric field strength depends only on x and y coordinates as given vector is equal to a times xi plus yj by x square plus y square where a is a constant. Then find the flux of vector E through a closed surface given by x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus z to the power 4 is equal to 81. If flux is of the form of k pi a, then the value of 100k will be where uh, bracket represent the greatest integer function. Alright, uh, so uh, this is the problem uh, statement. I'll suggest if uh, you want to give it a try, just give it a try and uh, see if you can get uh, the answer for uh, this problem correctly. And do let me know in the comment section, but if uh, you aren't just then you can uh, follow the solution which I am giving here. It's a very nice problem and uh, will be of some value addition in your preparation for sure. So first thing which we are going to notice here is the given field resembles the field produced by an uh, infinite uniformly charged wire placed along Z axis. So this vector I can convert into R cap kind of thing. So a times a by root of x square plus y square and r cap is xi plus yj divided by root of x square plus y square. So this will become r cap and further this value becomes uh, r. So it will become like a by r times r cap. Now this field is resembling the field of a wire placed along z axis. So the lambda y 2 pi epsilon naught r times r cap. Now if I compare these two. I'll get uh, the lambda of such wires which is uh, 2 pi epsilon not a. So this is the one equation which we are going to use. On this concept I have uh, earlier also I have uploaded some uh, problems. So it is just the extension of it. I hope you can see it. So this is the conversion uh, we will be using. Now next if we try to analyze this uh, surface. You can see this surface if y is 0 and z is 0 in yz plane it, it cuts at uh, 2 points x is uh, plus minus 3. Similarly uh, if x is 0 y is 0 then z becomes uh, plus or minus 3. Similarly if x is 0 z is 0 y becomes plus of minus 3. So these are the boundaries and uh, from there you will get a clear idea that it is somewhat like a cube but not exactly cube. So it is like a smooth edged cube. So something like this which I am uh, showing here. I hope you can see. It's almost like a cube but uh, these edges are uh, smooth curves. Right. So this idea you must have otherwise uh, you will not be able to solve this problem. So this is the key here. Now you can see and there is a wire passing through this and it is having a plus lambda of uh, this. And if you see minus 3 to plus 3 the side length of this cube this length it is uh, 6 this is 6 this height is uh, 6 right x is plus minus 3 y is plus minus 3 z is plus minus 3 so it is something like this now you can see uh, this wire how much length is inside this because if uh, we want to calculate this flux i have to write uh, net charge inside by epsilon naught so since side length is 6 units I can say 6 lambda is the net charge inside divided by epsilon naught. Now I can use this uh, conversion lambda by 2 epsilon naught. So here lambda by epsilon naught value I can substitute as 2 pi a. So 6 into 2 pi a. So 12 pi a is going to be the total flux passing through this and it is given in the form of k pi a. So k is 12 and 100 k value is 1200 and luckily it is integer this is going to be the final answer so guys just let me know in the comment section if you have got the correct answer it's a small problem if you know you will solve it within a minute but if you don't know trust me you won't be able to solve it at all so it's a very nice problem very close to my heart also and uh, guys here i have been uh, telling in the previous uh, videos also october 30th and 31st today is 31st okay so i think time has already passed because when i uh, used this slide uh, was preparing it was uh, this so anyways uh, you can still uh, watch those uh, recorded uh, sessions and it is with the uh, rankers generally with the uh, kasip sir and uh, sachin rana sir and uh, similarly uh, this will be uh, with the namo call and purnima call uh, ma'am again 
Namakalsar and Purnima ma'am, uh, right? So you can uh, access those uh, sessions and uh, definitely it will be uh, worth uh, spending your time in uh, those sessions. Alright, so this is it in this video and uh, I hope you have uh, learned something new about this uh, function or this surface and this approach also. So that's it guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching it.